Hello and good morning friends, welcome to the CEC Reset live lecture. Dear friends, as you know that we are carrying a series on graphics and print production and so far we have conducted numerous lectures. We have studied on the various aspects of graphics and print production. Yesterday also we carried out a lecture for you and promised that we would be coming again. So we are here for you again and under this very series that is graphics and print production, today we are going to discuss about color in design. We are going to discuss why color is important. Uh, what are the different aspects of the color uh, while we design. So dear friends, uh, I would like to tell you all that for this discussion today we have again with us in our studios Professor N. N. Sarkar. Professor N. N. Sarkar is a retired professor from IIMC as well as uh, I would like to tell you all that uh, from practitioner to academician he has lots of experience to share with you. So dear friends, let's take advantages from his experiences. Uh, through his immense experiences, I believe that uh, it will become easier and convenient for you to study this very topic. So let's know more about color and design. So first of all, I would like to welcome our guest Professor N. N. Sarkar. Professor Sarkar, welcome to the NZ lecture. Thank you, Gitika, <coughs> again. And welcome you are again. Uh, <coughs> So this is a continuation of our lectures, graphic and print production. Today's lectures on design, color in design. We view the world in color or we see everything in color. So naturally, can you think a design without color? Today's the black and white designs is almost unthinkable that has been realized by advertisers, publishers and they want everything in color because they know that if their communication message is in color, they will be recover the money much faster than it, if it is in black and white. So that's why the color should be there in design. Now, why color should be in design? It is because color has got the maximum attraction value. Think about a black and white page in, on which a sim simple headline in color that will attract you much more. If you view a landscape of mountains, so many elements, the mountain peaks near and far away, the trees around the mountains, in which you will find there is a temple far away and a red flag is flying, will it not attract you more? Same in the case of in a design. To get an attraction to the design, you want to make it in color. <coughs> color can create a right atmosphere. Can you think a festival or a mela without color? The mood of the, fe the festivals or the mela will be created by color. Color and here and there people will go from this place to this place. You can get the exactness of color if you think of a tomato sauce bottle. Naturally, the exactness of the color will be shown if it is in color. So that's why color is created at right atmosphere. And also you feel that it is you are in that atmosphere. So that's why to create an atmosphere, the always it should be in color. Color can cheer. 
think about your friend is coming on your birthday a gift which is wrapped in a color paper with tied with a ribbon color ribbon will you not be excited oh what is there inside so that that give you cheers to the colors it is because of the colors you are cheering color can stimulate the you are going through the pages of a magazine all of a sudden you find an advertising color it will stimulate you to read the advertisement you will have to spend you, you may spend a little bit time to the color color can provoke there is another aspects of color provocative nature of colors if you are passing through the market the provocative nature of the color like there is sale it will provoke you to go to the particular shop to buy the product if a cinema posters it is in color take the example of the cinema nowadays you find the bajrangi bhaijan a film is coming and it is in color and also you'll find this trailer of these pictures on television dance sequence and other pictures in colors which will provoke you to see the movie the color makes one proud will you not be proud of your national flag which is in color will you not be will you not be proud when your national team team cricket team win a match which is in blue color you cheers from blue color are you not the proud of your army's uniform when you are not in school your dress school dress you are proud of the school dress so that the colors makes you proud color is a sensation this is the psychological aspect of color when you are sitting in a blue colored room then you feel a cool do it is nothing uh, if it is not in air condition even then if it will cool that's why in summer season you want to use the curtains in blue color or is if it is in red colors you feel a bit warm that's why warm color curtains generally avoided avoided in summer season color is information color here you are using the colors for information as you are driving and you stop at red light and move on when the color is starting to green there is a information it is giving it to you or the orange color which is which is asking you to keep ready to move on so this is the information this this is this aspect of color is called information of color when you are reading a text some of the informations are depicted by charts and graphs each bar of the charts or bar of the bar, bar of the content can give you some information or others which will make you easy to understand that statistical information in brief form here the color is playing the role of information color is perfe- perception there is a symbolic aspects of color some of the colors we perceive it for as a red is a danger then green is a hesitation green is a freshness this is a perception we get it 
from the color. Color is a retention. The many shapes we forget, but we retain the value of color. For example, Maggie Dundul is it banned in India. But we do, it will take quite some time that the color of Maggie Dundul, that is the yellow color, isn't it? The corporations and companies, they want to convey their message or identify them as a color which is commonly known as corporate color. Don't you think that Vodafone color, which is the color Vodafone color? The red color, a particular red color is Vodafone. Idea color is slightly different than the Vodafone. That you identify the, the company by its colors. So here, the colors will remember and corporations and organization, they utilize the color to remember them in color. Color can create restlessness. Who are restless? The children are restless, young are restless. Think about the design you are making for a particular group of people, maybe for young, maybe for children. Can you think that children toys with only a pale color? It is always bright colors. Children dresses, you go to the shops for children dresses, their dresses are with multiple colors. So by colors, you are conveying the masses the, they are your target audience is restless. Despite the fact the color has so many advantages and can communicate the message so easily, even then some colors can antagonize the viewer. What are those colors and which situations colors will be will, will antagonize the viewers? Think about you are sitting in a room sitting in a room which is painted with numerous colors here and there without any imagination. Will you feel comfortable sitting in this room? So it will antagonize the, the viewer or who are living in that particular atmosphere. In a design, a, a page is designed with many colors. Maybe headlines in red, text in blue, subheadlines in green, photographs in multicolors. It is looking quite colorful, but will you be able to get the information properly? Will you not feel uncomfortable to read it? So in this situation, color will antagonize the viewer. So remember these points, otherwise your design will not be successful. Uh, you'll have to always think about the colors. To understand these important aspects of colors, we'll have to understand much more details in colors. The communicator should know how the colors are coming to us or the colors we view, the physical dimensions of colors, and the how the colors are ex ex uh, uh, affecting our day-to-day -day life and also color scheme because all the colors we see not beautiful all every time but sometimes they are beautiful or sometimes they are bad but this beautiful and bad of colors will come on the basis of the color scheme we see. So let us understand one by one all these things. Color vision means the how the colors are coming to us. All of, we are, all of we know that basic source of colors is light. We cannot see a color without light. But light is also playing a different role in different situation. Some of the colors we see 
because the colors are lights are falling on the objects and the colors is reflecting to our eyes that's why these are called reflective colors the colors of nature colors of design all these are colors are seen because color is falling on this object this object absorbs all the colors of light except the one we see which is reflected to our eyes these are called color of <coughs> color of light but not always the colors will be reflected from the natures and the objects it is reflecting for example you can view a color from a computer screen or television screen in this case color is fall the falling the falling on the te television screen and it is not reflecting on your eyes it is rather what is happening that the color is illuminated inside the computer or the television screen that illuminated light will be coming to our eyes that's why these colors are called luminous color by illuminating the computer screen and television screen we can see the colors here the outside light will not help because but it is outside yeah, inside when it is illuminated then only here if you can outside i switch off the if you make the things dark or or switch up the light of outside and even then you can see the colors because here the colors are illuminated that's why it is called luminous colors the third way we can see the colors right it's called transmission colors what is the transmission colors this will be slightly it will be completely different than the way you view the colors in case of reflecting and luminous here colors you can view it by passing light through the color transparency as you can see the movie other in the movie the color frames are seen when light is passed through the color transparency on the silver screen that is completely different than luminous and reflective colors here the outside color is not help it is the the it is not the light is illuminated on your screen same with the case of case of colors is transmitting through the to the lcd projectors lcd projectors also colors are projected through the projector and on the screen when you are delivering the lectures through the lcd projector this colors you see on the on the screen it is transmission color color is transmitting through the lcd screen so these are the ways the basic ways we can see the colors see the colors and all are used in communication we are using the communication in a design printed page we can see reflective colors on computer screen we can see the images on computer on computer screen we can see the images on television screen and also we can see the images on on screen projecting from lcd projectors or the film projectors now second aspect we have to understand that is a physical dimension we have heard the word hue hue is nothing but a color a color is described by hue when you talk about red color that means red hue is there that's why we can perceive the color red green hue is there that's why we perceive it as a green blue hue is there that's why it is a it is a, it is a, a blue color that means hue is a synonymous to the color 
value is another aspect, as a, another physical dimension of color. Value refers to the lightness and darkness of colors. Lighter the color, more the value. Darker the color, less the value. It is determined by how much light is reflecting from the colors. As you go on reducing the color value, then it becomes a darker. If you increase the color value, then it becomes the lighter. That means more light is reflected from the from the color. That's why it's more the value. Chroma is another aspects, another physical aspects of color. Chroma refers to the intensity and purity of color. The chroma can be reduced by using another hue. That means if you add a bright color, add a, a color to a bright color, then it is it is reduce the chroma. So we use these colors and physical dimension, physical dimension by changing the chroma and and the value. In order to identify the color and its physical dimension, we must understand that the basic source of colors is light, as I have told you already. The millions of colors are available in colors, both in sunlight or artificial light. So far, communicator could identify or the scientist could identify 16 million plus colors. These 16 million colors can be condensed and combined and we can bring them into three colors. Three, three colors termed as primary colors of light. These primary colors of lights are red, green and blue. These are also called additive colors. Why it is so called? Because adding all these three colors, we produce white light. In white light, what do we know white light? White light means the brightness or the ujala. And we can see everything when it is white, because white contains all the colors. As you have seen in this diagram, diagram that the, all the colors are superimposing at one point and that produces a white light. We can see the, the object as it is when it is bright. But if you not allow the light to come inside, then it will be completely dark. That means, in case of color, in case of color of light, the presence of all colors is white, absence of all color is dark. That means, this room will be dark if you switch off the, all the lights. So, the presence of all colors is white or ujala or brightness and absence of all colors is light. We cannot see anything if the colors is off from the object. <coughs> we create the image on television, computer and digital camera, all are the based on the colors of light. But when we come to a printed page on a design, then colors are created on pigment. What is a pigment? Pigment is an artificial color. As you know, light colors of lights are the are the natural color. Colors of pigment is a artificial color. Man try to come closer to the nature all the time. That is why when 
they wanted to come closer to create the color like like color of light they created pigment what is a pigment pigment is nothing but extract of the materials available in our surroundings such as flowers plants minerals chemicals etc we we take an extract of that materials such as we extract red color from the flowers red flowers jamuni colors from jamun and also the haldi from the turmeric colors for haldi so all these are extract of this uh, of this elements available around us and this extracts elements are mixed with a medium medium like medium like water medium like oil and we produce color we also extract the minerals also take an example you want to white wash your building then you take the lime lime is a mineral and if you put water in it that becomes the white color and it is painted your wall is painted by minerals so these are the way we extract from extract various materials and produce pigment colors pigment colors are mixed with oil and water we produce the color here also we also try to come closer to the to the primary color of life and also we have created colors condensing this all these colors and we have brought that primary colors the primary colors of pigments are cyan a sort of a blue magenta a sort of a red and black uh, uh, sorry cyan magenta and yellow yellow is a primary colors not black so these are the primary colors of pigment the primary colors of light is called additive color why it is so called because of adding all the colors we produce white light primary colors of pigment is called subtractive colors why because by adding all colors we produce black black means reflection of less less light that's why it is a subtractive or it is reduces the reflection of light that's why it is subtractive colors as i have mentioned in case of primary colors of light 16 million colors we can create and the primary colors are red green and blue in computer each color can be uh, can be created or can be shaded into 200 256 colors that will 256 of red can be created at computers 256 of red and 256 of green and 256 of blue can be created now take your mobile phone and go to calculation just see that if you multiply 256 into 256 red to 256 of green you get that many colors again you multiply it by 256 then you will find 16 million 
700 subcolors. So it is, it is scientifically proved that we can create 16 million colors, 16 million colors with the help of computer. So these are the physical dimension of colors. The graphic designers, artists, they should know this physical dimension and make the colors as per the required as as the requirements of their design. <coughs> then next is These are colors of the pigment. Here you can see the red colors and magenta colors. Magenta colors are overlapping and creating another colors. And all when they, all the colors are super superimposed, they create black. Now it is a, it is a, just a compare uh, uh, compare this additive colors and substantive colors. When the two primary colors of light lights are combined, they produce the secondary color. These secondary colors becomes the primary colors of pigment. Red color combined with blue, they produce the magenta. The magenta is the primary colors of pigment. Blue and green combined produces produce yellow color. Yellow is the primary colors of pigment. Green and red combine, combine produces second, secondary color. Secondary color is a cyan. Cyan is the primary colors of pigment. Same way, if you combined the primary colors of of pigment, say magenta is combined with cyan, you produce the secondary color and secondary color become the blue. Cyan and magenta combined become the blue. That blue is the primary colors of light. Cyan and yellow is combined, you produce secondary color of, of pigment and secondary colors becomes green. Green is the primary colors of light. And yellow and red, you combine, you produce the secondary color. Secondary color is the magenta. Magenta is the primary colors of magenta is the primary colors of pigment. And magenta and yellow you combine, you produce a red color. Red is the primary colors of light. Now, this color theory is very important in design and print production. Why? Because when you print the colors from a color originals, the, all the colors are mixed up. So you cannot print all the colors one by one because otherwise you have to create, you have to, you have to print so many times. But in the color printing, we print only using four colors, four colors. That is the primary colors of pigment and the black. But when the colors are combined in a color original, these colors are to be separated. The colors are separated with the help of the primary colors of light, that is red, green, and blue. When the colors are separated, they are printed by primary colors of pigment that is cyan, magenta, yellow plus the additional pigment is black. So this is a complicated thing which will be discussed in details when we will be discussing the production aspect of colors. So today we have just only learned the physical aspects of colors just to differentiate between primary colors of light and primary colors of pigment. Then the colors, how the colors have responded? Colors have responded various ways. 
it may be responded psychologically, it may be responded socio cultural aspect, it may be responded in symbolically. The, let us understand the psychological aspect of colors. The response to color is very subjective. Some, sometimes you feel you may respond to colors, oh, I like this color, it's very good. And sometimes you say, oh, I don't like these colors. It is very, very subjective. So, but on the basis of the psychological aspect, on the basis of research, we, have, we can find out that cool feeling in, can be created when, when the design or the atmosphere is predominantly blue color. Blue, it psychologically gives you the feeling of coolness. The cool shading looks clean and inviting. That's why any medical product that you can think of, that is all are in, in blue colors. That is much more cleaner and inviting. Bluish gray is create a tranquil and passive effect. Think about blue color river, blue color sky. It is a very tranquiling, tranquiling effect. Think about a landscape, blue uh, the mountain, hazy mountain, icy mountain, and it will give you a, a tranquil and cool effect. And also, it is a passive mood. You relax in this particular mood. Cool color makes a room bigger. If you are sitting in a room, you feel, oh, it is a quite a bigger room. An object lighter. An object, if it is colored in blue color, it is psychologically feel lighter. Though it is actually not, but it is a psychological effect. The hues from red and yellow orange psychologically create warm atmosphere. That's why in the summer season, you want to have the room. It is painted light red color or the curtains in red colors or the carpet in red that give you the feeling of warmness. The warm colors are splashy and aggressive. It is, it is the characteristics of warm color. They attract attention and excite our emotion. Anything you want to attract, if it is red, then it will be attracted first. That's why when you are writing something and you want to highlight a particular word or sentence by red color. Warm colors tend to make the room smaller, whereas warm color makes the object heavier. Again, this is a psychological effect. You ask a liberal to pick up the two boxes. One is painted in blue color, another is in red colors. And though the, the weight of the box is the same, but even then, if you ask the person, then he will respond to the box that it is heavier and it is lighter. Which one is heavier? The one is painted with red color. And which one is lighter? The one is painted with blue color. That is the characteristics of the, co the color. Socio-cultural response. Culturally, or the atmosphere in which that responds to the color. In general, men prefer plain and, and deep shades for their dresses. But if it is argued 
then don't you find a person is not wearing a colorful dress? Yes, it is. But it is a general perception. This perception will help a designer to make a design for a particular target group. If it is for men, for example, men dresses, men suits, don't you think that dark color will be much more preferable? In case of women, women prefer light colors and delicate tints. Also, it is with the designs. So whenever you want to buy a dress materials for women group, probably this aspect of the colors will help to choose the color scheme. But again, I am not emphasizing that this is uh, perfectly for all the situation, but situation to situation it will differ. Culturally, also the responsive colors differ. But again, when you think about the culture, culture is represented by religion. If it is for Muslim culture, then anything think about Muslim cultures, it is green or greenish. Think about their dresses, their flags, their monuments, it will be represented by a green color. So it will be easy for associate with these cultures in green colors. In case of Hindu religion, the saffron is much more associated with that. Any festival, you think about Hindu festival, always it is in, in, in saffron or yellow colors. The yellow, uh, the saffron color is also predominantly visible in Sikh religions. There are uh, religions, turban and flags. Yellow and yellow, re yellow red colors is represented by Buddhism. In Buddhism, they believe that whatever will be born, it will die and fade away. That is, a green leaves is turned into yellow. That is the concept used the yellow orange in their rep rep representation of cultural representation of color. Geographically also, colors differ from one place to another place. In India itself, you will find that preference of color differ from North India to South India, East India to Northeast India. Think about the people of Rajasthan, always you think about a bright colors. If you think about the South Indian, they always prefer in contrast colors. They, their dress materials always in contrast. Generally dull colors are used in the eastern part of the India. A bright colors even in the northeast people also used. Nationally, also a color can be identified nationally. For example, if you think about China, it's a red color. If you think of the Persia, it's a Persian blue. Persian blue. <coughs> color has got some name as for their uh, national nationality. For example, Chinese white, Indian red, Persian blue and so on. Color preference also differ from the people of different education level, such as highly educated people will or highly educated or highly income group of people will prefer delicate colors, delicate colors. Whereas 
poor people will go for bright colors. Take an example. That festival of the pujas and and the sera, the people are going to see their see the people are dressing uh, their dress materials. They are always bright colors. Think about your made of your house. At the occasion, you want to give it a dress material for for her. She will prefer a very bright colors, isn't it? So why I am telling all these things, the color preference, because when you are designing, then think about your target audience, and according to your target audience, whom you are targeting it, then all then you choose your color scheme, and all these things will help in selecting the colors for your target audience. The colors response also given symbolically, but this is this this aspect is different from place to place, region to region, culture to culture. These are not uniform, but some of the colors are uniformly accepted, and always you have to remember this symbolic representation of colors, and this colors. may be associated with positively or associated with negatively take the example of red color red colors is a most visible color and whenever we attract attention we try to use the red colors this color also has the connotation of vitality excitement courage and enterprise also it can be negatively used and some of the negative connotations are universally accepted for example red color is danger for all the cultures and all the reason accept these things red color is fire red color color is a blood is anger is aggression is provocation so red color can be used predominantly for for positive connotation and also can be used in negative connotation yellow color is a sunshine color of sunshine color for cheerfulness color of radiance and optimism you see the bright sunshine with yellow color yellow also can be negatively used yellow is the color of warning you might have noticed it that your pesticide container that yellow triangle is showing that it is a warning it is a warning symbol yellow is a poisonous because most of the snakes are yellow the yellow colors are used for showing the poisonous that is a negative aspect yellow is also used the person is a pale or like yellow fever yellow after yellow fever you become weak and looking pale that's why the yellow is a negatively used green is a color of peace green is a color of peace balance prosperity freshness freshness of vegetable freshness of nature green is the also color of negatively used for disgrace greed jealousy envy when the advertisers use this envy if you can recall the onida tv advertisements as a the neighbors nv owners pride that was represented by green color dark green is tradition reliability 
and reassurance is the positive connotation and negatively it is greed and selfish desire blue color blue one of the positive colors most frequently used color of coolness coolness of sea river sky vastness of ocean truth intellect loyalty security distance color of security that's why most of the banks they use they use the blue color for their corporate identity the bank names most of the times you will find it that it is in blue color it is of because your money is secure in our bank that's why they use blue color detachment distance detachment and aloofness is the negative connotation of blue color dark blue industriousness efficiency authority it is it can be found in the corporate identity that's maruti uddog they use this dark color for their corporate identity their logo in negatively it is shown as stormy sea night the dark night doubt discouragement these are the negative connotations of blue color white color is a color of purity color of truth peace and virtue blue color is also negatively used it is a ghostly color suppose you want to show a ghost the naturally ghost is all be visible in, in white color blue uh, white is also cold people living in a cold country a cold country they is really fearful for them in the atmosphere the surrounded by snow glow white is also color of color of blank color of white negatively also use a color of in indian connotation is a color of mourning color of widow but many many places it is not so that's why is culturally is different from place to place as i had mentioned different is aristocracy exotic and passionate dick phrase also the is a passionate head hate passionate desire pink color pink is femininity romantic and cosmetic think about the advertisement of of women products always is think about pink pink is also negatively use sublimation regret humility orange is color of knowledge civilization luxury and flame orange is also color of aggression arrogance and sentimentality it is always come near to the spirit of a red color black is positively used in advertising black is beauty black is sophistication black is exclusiveness but black is many times used negatively black is night black is death black is mourning black is evil black is sin black is witchcraft so negatively black used in so many places gold gold is rich gold is majestic gold is honor gold is wisdom 
but gold has got a negative connotation. It is extravagant. It is expensive. You cannot afford gold. Gray is maturity, wisdom, patience, and retrospection. Gray, the gray is also used in neutralization, indifference, grief, old days, and pollution. Silver, silver is purity, taste of truth, color of moon. It is the Indian connotation, it is the color of moon. The silver is also, as it is coming closer to gray, gray that is, is dull and passive. Brown is color, richness and fertility. The fertile land will be represented by brown color. It is also negatively used, wishful. Grassless mountain, dried field, rustic and dirt. Wishful that it is a dry leaves. When it is falling, you feel so sad. And many times you find in the films, they are showing the dry leaves falling and showing the sadness of the boat. So I think, I think that's that's that and think that uh, the students might have, uh, uh, sir, sorry to interrupt you, but uh -huh. there is a call from uh, Delhi and uh -huh, a sure. student want to ask a question to you. Sure, sure. So I think we should take the call. Uh, hello. 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 Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Actually, I was going through the lecture of colors in design and I want to ask one question to the sir. Yes. The question is, what are complementary and sub-complementary colors? What are complementary and sub-complementary colors? Complementary colors, uh, complementary colors, if the two primary colors are mixed, that is, that is uh, they, uh, <coughs> this is a, uh, uh, when two primary colors are mixed, you get the secondary colors. That is the supply complementary colors. When we mix two complementary colors, that is the, the sub complementary colors or secondary colors. Supplementary color and secondary is the same thing. Okay? I feel that the student, if uh, she might have watched the entire lecture, she yeah. would have uh, got answer of uh, uh, this very question. But my dear friend, I would like to tell you that uh, if you have uh, any any dilemma, then you can watch this lecture, which would be soon uploaded on YouTube, with the help of which uh, you will able to get the answer of your question. So uh, we are running short of time over here. I would like to take a leave, and uh, I would like to thank uh, Professor Anand Sarkar once again. Thank you, okay, sir. Thank you.